What a farewell it was. Friends, family and rock royalty gathered to pay tribute to the godfather of Australian music, Michael Gudinski. Nine Entertainment editor Richard Wilkins was at the memorial in Melbourne and he joins us now. Dickie, it was a fitting star started farewell, wasn't it? It sure was, Carl. Good morning to you and Ali and everybody else. Look, it was desperately sad, but incredibly moving. As you, as you said, Ali, the Australian music industry turned out to join family and friends and, and fans of, uh, of the late, great Michael Gudinski, the man who really did build the foundations for the Australian music industry. Much loved, as was evidenced by all the wonderful words and fantastic performances that were put on last night um, a couple of them that, uh, that, that, that I should mention. Uh, Jimmy Barnes performed a song called Flesh and Blood that Michael had been raving about. He was jumping on his desk and playing it to everyone. Jimmy said it was on high rotation in Gadinsky's house before he passed. And Ed Sheeran, who, uh, who flew his, with his family out to Australia just to, to be here and to pay his respects to Michael. A song he wrote when he was in quarantine just last week uh, called Visiting Hours, which brought him to tears and everybody else. Let's have a little listen to it and, and Jim last night. That was such an emotional moment when Ed performed last night. And, oh, my uh, goodness. We know that Mum and Michael's family, they also delivered emotional speeches on stage. They sure did, Ali. Yeah, I wish heaven had visiting hours. I mean, <sighs> God, what about that for an opening line of a song? But, yeah, Michael's, uh, Michael's son... Matt, he, Michael loved his family so much, his beautiful wife Sue and his son Matt and Kate both spoke so beautifully and agonisingly last night. Here's a little taste. My precious Dada, to say that I'm proud to be your daughter is an understatement. He was a dedicated, loving and caring husband, amazing father, a loyal family man and passionate. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? A beautiful tribute from his kids. And uh, as they said last night, he was, above everything else, a family man. Another magic moment. Um, Kylie and Ed uh, teamed up for a special performance, Dickie. Yeah, there were lots of magic moments, and we're going to be bringing plenty of them to you throughout the morning because we deserve to, uh, to give Michael the, the, the respect that he, he deserved so much. But this was, this was a great moment when, uh, when Kylie, Michael had always said, I want Kylie to meet Ed Sheeran, that should that'll be good, I'd love to see them on stage together. Well, finally they did, and he would have been smiling at this. When Ed accompanied Kylie and they did The Locomotion, the song that really did start it all for Kylie in terms of her recording career. Have a listen. Everybody's doing brand new dance now. Up there! Come on, baby, do the locomotion. I know you're getting like it if you give it a chance now. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. My little baby said that you do it for me. It's easier to learn on your ABC song. Come on, come on, do the locomotion. And hey, you gotta swing your hips And Sticky, nice. we were just talking about how emotional it was watching it from home last night. I mean, for you to actually be there, what was it like in the room, in the stadium? Oh, it was just, it, it was just, it was wonderful, Ali. You know, just surrounded by so many friends and colleagues in the business, um, and and the, the fans were there and everybody. Look, it was there were lots and lots of laughs as you would expect because Michael was a funny guy and he would have expected nothing less. And and lots of tears and lots of sing-alongs. The production of the whole event, you know, as as you would expect with everything that Michael was involved with, was just first class. The sound was amazing. The performances were just gold. The tributes from everyone, from Elton John to Rod Stewart to Bruce Springsteen. I mean, I shouldn't even mention those three because everybody in the business mm. had nice things to say. It was a wonderful, wonderful show and lots of tears and, and, and lots of respect. That's the word that mm. I keep coming back to. Love and respect for this great man 
who's um, who's left us and gone way too soon. Hey, um, Dickie, in the true Michael Gudinski style, I mean, he would have wanted you all to, to see him off uh, with a proper nudge. Uh, did you give it one last night? Well, the show started at 7.07, .07, Carl, because he loved his Penfolds. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. um, but it was, it was a relatively dry event. It was a fairly dry event, but, we, yeah, we did manage to squeeze one in for him after the show. <laughs> good That's man, good event. man. What a great farewell. Well done, Dickie. Thank you. We'll talk to you a little bit later in the show.